The large extended family has made great contributions to the Chinese history, ensuring long-term peace, prosperity and stability in society. Although we yearn for this in current society, it's impossible to revive it. Hence, we have to change our thoughts. How do we change them? I often heard people talk about entrepreneurs in society. That made me think, if enterprises could be transformed into ancient Chinese extended families, China may once again enjoy prosperity for a thousand years to come. This large extended family will be an organisation. In the past, family was always blood related. Now they are formed based on moral relations, not blood relations. What does it mean? If the leader, the proprietor of the enterprise, truly comprehends traditional Chinese culture, he'd be happy to implement it. He has to treat his employees as his own siblings and truly love and care for them. He ought to regard them as his own family members. He has to regard the employee's parents as his own uncles and aunties and treat their children as his own nephews and nieces. Hence, his enterprise has to establish private education for the employee's children. There won't be any external enrolment, it's only meant for the employees. The enterprise has to set up a nursing home to cater for the employee's parents and their elderly, not for outsiders. When all aspects of the employees are well taken care of, the enterprise would become a family. The peace and prosperity enjoyed by the ancient Chinese would re-emerge. Only the Chinese people comprehend this concept. We can't miss any aspect in the order of cultivating oneself, managing the family, governing the country and bringing peace to the world. Missing something would result in chaos. Nowadays, the extended family no longer exists. Without this kind of family, what happens? The country will be chaotic. Nowadays, the country isn't being well governed. It's chaotic and so is the entire world. Think about how significant the extended family is. It's of utmost importance. To manage the family, we must engage in self-cultivation from the outset. And self-cultivation involves having the right mindset first. What does having the right mindset mean? There can be no partiality and no distortion. The right mindset means not having any biased and evil thoughts. Every thought that arises would be for the benefit of the clan and the general public. Entrepreneurs of today should aspire to contribute to the public, the country and all mankind. They ought to have big aspirations like this. Your enterprise could become an empire, a multinational corporation. The mother company could have franchisees and subsidiary companies. This is a big business. If entrepreneurs of today could fully adopt and promote the spirit of the traditional Chinese family from the past, this would influence the whole world. Achieving this aspiration definitely requires selflessness and sincere love. Amito Fo Buddha has successfully done so. He embraced every individual regardless of race, faith and region. He united all beings within the six realms from all the Buddha lands in the boundless universe, welcoming all of them to the family of Western Pure Land. These are the distinctive characteristics of the Dharma of Amitabha Buddha. Its benefits are also distinctive and immeasurable.